Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make some distressed boyfriend jeans. Check it out. Now first up, in order for you to be able to make distressed boyfriend jeans, you're going to need a pair of boyfriend jeans. Now you have a few options. You can always go to a store like H&M or The Gap or any other resale store and purchase, you know, boyfriend jeans. You can even go to the men's section and purchase actual men's jeans. Now the other option, my favorite and one that I recommend is actually go to the thrift store or the Goodwill or the Salvation Army and look for quote mom jeans. <laughs> now mom jeans are the same jeans you use to make the high waisted shorts. So just look for ones that have like the long crotch with the long butt and all of that. You're gonna have to try it on. Um, in order to make them boyfriend jeans, you're gonna have to get two sizes larger than your size. So I'm normally a 27, so my boyfriend jeans are a size 29. Another option once you're in the Goodwill, thrift store, Salvation Army, etc., etc., is to actually go into the men's section and find men's jeans. Now, I'm not really sure what size works for who, but you're definitely gonna have to try on, you know, the jeans and stuff like that. That you'll definitely find boyfriend jeans there because they're men's jeans. Um, it's just all about just finding the size that works for you. So you want them to be baggy and hang off your waist but you don't want to be, them to be too baggy where they just look, you know, a mess. So fitted yet baggy, that's the style that we're looking for. So yeah, these are my boyfriend jeans. They're Levi's and I absolutely love Levi's. I would definitely recommend Levi's for you. So as far as the fit, these are 29. So here is how they fit regularly. It's still a little tiny bit tight, but we'll make them work. And then you want to take that pocket and Pull them down, pull them down, so they get to your waist and they're not falling off. Let's see, so just think like Aaliyah style. That's definitely what we're looking for. Like that. Okay, while you still have your boyfriend jeans on, you want to mark where you want the distressed little parts to be. So. I want one on the thigh. You're gonna take a washable marker or chalk or whatever. marker that's darker than the color you use to mark your jeans. You're going to begin by marking where you want to place your slit. So here is where the gray mark is at. Just going to place a dark mark there. And you want to make your slits about a half an inch or so apart from each other. So you want the slits to be here. here. Here, here, and here. And then you're gonna take your scissors and then you're gonna cut those slits out. Keep them out and stay away from the pockets. So just pull those out a little bit. Cut along those slits.
you're done cutting your slit, she's just gonna add a couple more distressed marks. She's gonna cut out into this. Next, you're gonna take your pants, fill them into the washing machine, add a tiny bit of detergent. And I want mine to be bleached a little bit, so I'm going to first wet them. Once wet a little bit, you're going to take jeans and roll them up. Roll them up. Like that. And you're going to take a spray bottle with bleach. You're just going to so let it sit for about 15 minutes. Once it's done fitting, sitting for 15 minutes, I'm going to take it, adjust your temperature, I want it to be warm, cold, high. If you have an option for speed wash, just put it on speed wash and hit start. Okay, so once you're done washing your jeans, you're going to take them out. like this. And you're going to place them into the dryer for about mm, let's say 30 minutes. So that completes this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Only one note, once you have distressed your pants or jeans or whatever you want to call them, only hand wash and air dry them because if you continuously wash them and dry them, the slits will eventually turn into holes. And unless that's the look you're going for, we don't want that. So until next time, guys, peace and dopeness.